Zohar, the Tsar of Russia, um, Queen Victoria's daughter. Uh, I don't, was it the daughter? I know that Nicholas was married to Alexandra, and Alexandra wasn't Queen Victoria's daughter, but there are connections. I mean, I know a lovely, lovely lady. I shan't be so base as to say her name. And her great-grandfather was the Tsar. Very, very interesting. Uh, Sam, so good. Turned around thinking I had a nature doc on. There we are. Did you like that one, Sam? Very good, says Magnus. Whoa. When did David Attenborough take over? Did you like that one, Peter? <laughs> Glenn says I was thinking Richard Attenborough. Ah, Dickie, the first chairman of Capital Radio. Lovely man. Dickie Attenborough, very, very good actor as well. Uh, did you see him as the sergeant major? And then he was also, I'm sure Dickie Attenborough's also in the cruel sea. There we are, David's brother. Uh, Scotty, my good sir, have you seen the Batman? Do you mean my own Batman? You know, when I could shout, Batman! Or are you talking Batman is as holy broken bones? Robin and I cannot fly. Do you remember that? They used to have to tell the youngsters that Batman and Robin couldn't fly, so no youngsters jumped at the window and stuff like that. I will check up on Queen Victoria's daughter. Queen Victoria's daughter, Vicky, the eldest child, was married to Frederick William Fritz, who was the emperor of Prussia. I know that. So Prince Albert actually wanted all the crowned heads of Europe to be united. So it was like an early EU, but with proper aristocracy and crowned heads. You know what I mean? He was a very, very, very advanced thinker, Prince Albert. Had he lived, I'm sure the world would have been an even better place. There we are, Yorkshire tea. What's wrong with the Scottish blend? I love the Scottish blend, Charlie, but I do love my Yorkshire. And I got it on offer today. There we are. Flight of the Phoenix, he was in that. Yes, he was, Mr. Martin. And I love Flight of the Phoenix. Now, don't tell me who else was in Flight of the Phoenix. A whole host of them. James Stewart was the pilot. Is that right? And they had to design whether or not to blow one of the cartridges to clear out the cylinders. And um, the German gentleman, was a German gentleman that designed the aircraft, who had designed the model aircraft. Flight of the Phoenix, love it. If I see it on, I watch it. See, all these films that I've seen before and could probably do the script, like last week I watched Tunes of Glory on YouTube. Tunes of Glory. Now, what a cast that is. A lot of people go, oh, I've not heard of that. It's about a Scottish regiment after the Second World War. And it's very good. I've spoken to senior Scottish officers who were around at the time. And they've said, yeah, it's not too bad. There was a lot of drink then. In fact, there was too much drink. Because after the Second World War, they were kind of at a wee bit of a loose end. They'd done all their training. And it's 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 really a psychological movie uh, between two officers vying to be colonel of the regiment, one that's come up through the ranks as a boy piper, and the other that's uh, Eton and Sandhurst and Oxford, and that sort of thing. And uh, here's your cast for starters, some of them. Uh, Alec Guinness. <laughs> John Mills, Sir John Mills, Sir Alec Guinness, um, Gordon Jackson, Susanna York, Duncan McRae. Who else have we got? I mean, just absolutely outstanding. You know, there's several more. Dennis Price is in it. Alan McNaughton is in it as Captain Eric Simpson, Eric. And Guinness does the finest Scottish accent 
I've ever heard a non-Scottish actor do. It's just genius. So, guys, I can recommend it. Tunes of Glory. Put it into, uh, into your YouTube and watch it. Uh, it's an hour and a bit. Great, I agree, 100%. Fly to the Phoenix, fantastic stuff. Scotty, I think if they bring back Jurassic Park, you could be the new archaeologist. Ah, Glenn, how fantastic. Thank you for that. Scotty, my good sir, I've seen Batman. I am the Joker. Yes, you haven't heard the last of me, Batman. Oh, uh, I think we have, Joker. There we are. Uh, the United States from Alva. Thank you very much. We love the hills of Alva. What an outstanding tune that is. Guys, I'm going to have to go. This has been an absolute privilege. We're just about to hit 7,000 likes. Would you like to do that before I go? Right, we've got about 30 seconds. Can everybody watching go tap, 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 tap on their phones? So there, we've done it. 7,000 likes. I thank you. From me, Scotty McClue, get watching the TikTok videos. Like and share every single one. Follow me on TikTok and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And don't sort of pay at lip service, guys. Actually do it because you will be the winner. I can tell you now. Scotty, the old fisherman's tea with carnation milk. You try that in the old puffer. Charlie, I did the puffer, and I can remember being um, invited down to the cruise quarters on uh, RMS Loch Fine and having fresh Scottish plain bread with a great big hunk of cheese and a lovely cup of seaman's tea, fisherman's tea. There we are. Dinky do. Thank you, guys. Good night. God bless. Glenn Peacock. Good night. Susan, thank you for my two pounds again. And uh, thank you to every single one of you. Take great care of your dear selves. And from me, Scotty McClue, dinky do. Stick out your tongue on TikTok and say ta-ta. Bye-bye.